Hello, dear students. How are you doing? I'm very fine. Students, do you remember what we have seen in previous lecture? Very good. It was about one of the technique of integration, integration by partial fraction. So today, uh, we'll see the other technique, technique of integration by part. Integration by parts. By the way, this technique, the formula uh, of uh, this integration by part was uh, derived uh, by using uh, the product rule of differentiation of, uh, uh, of two functions. Two functions. So let's assume uh, two functions here, u and v, uh, b, a function of x, a function of x, assume u to v, uh, it has a function of u of x, and v to be a function of uh, variable x, v of x. So uh, if you remember in chapter uh, 3, the derivative of a product of two function uh, is evaluated using this formula. So this will be it as uh, the product of the derivative of these two uh, function is v times the derivative of u, that's v times the derivative of u, that's me simply, du by dx plus u times the derivative of v, that's it, this is u times dv by dx. I hope you remember this. So from this, we can drive uh, the formula for integration of uh, a given function by part. So to drive uh, the formula, let's integrate both sides of this equation. When you integrate, you'll have this. It is the integration of uh, du by dx of uv dx. This is equal to the integration of this expression plus the integration of this one. So if you remember, if you remember, the integral is the reverse uh, process of uh, derivative. So let's see this one. You have u times v here. And its derivative uh, of this expression it is u v derivative. I can write in this form or simply it is du by dx of u v. So the integral of this expression is simply it is the reverse process. The integral of this expression will be it is this one u v. Therefore, 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 the integral of this expression is it is simply it is u times v. So this is equal to, this equal to uh, v times, assume this to be, uh, assume this to be du, and assume this expression to be dv. So you'll have this one, you'll have this one. So now let's try to solve for one of the two. When you solve for, let's take this one, integration of u times dv, the integration of u times dv, this is equal to, you take this to the other side, so uv minus this one, the integration of v times du. So this is the formula for integration uh, of uh, a given function by part. This is a formula for integration by part. So to apply this uh, technique, you have to uh, be careful in selecting which function to be u and which function to be dv. So you will have this one, one of the function you lead, one of the function to be u, and the other function to be dv, and then you apply this formula. So this is a technique of integration by parts. So from this, First, you let one of the function to be u and the other function to be dv. From this, you have to, by the way, after letting these two, uh, u and dv, you have to find du also here. From u, you can find du because we need du here in this formula. You need du. Therefore, the derivative of u is this simply less than du. And we have dv here. So dv here, 
from dv, we need v also here. Therefore, uh, we have the derivative. We have the derivative. So, integrating, you have to find the value of v. After doing this, simply you can remember the formula easily. The integration of the original expression u dv will be, that is, the product of the two, u and v, u and v minus the integral of the product of the two functions minus the integral of v times du. So this is a formula uh, to apply the technique of integration by parts. So let's see example for this. Let's see example. <coughs> let's try to integrate this uh, function. It's integration of x times e raised to x dx is equals to. Now let's try to find the solution. So in this case, to apply uh, integration by part, you have to let one of the functions to be u and the other function to be dv. So let x to be u. We assume x to be u. And this one, e raised to x dx to be dv. So from this, from this, you can find du here. du is a derivative of this expression it is 1. The derivative of x is 1. And from this 1, dv, you can find v. That's it's the integral of this expression, the integral of e raised to the x to the x itself. So we have found this. After this, simply plug these values into the formula, this formula. The integration, therefore, the integration, you can apply this one. The integration of the <coughs> function, this, it's a product of these two, that's it is x times e raised to x, x times e raised to x, minus the integral of the product of the two, is minus, this is this, take the product. Therefore, x times e raised to x here, minus 1 times e raised to x here in the integral. Therefore, this value is x, raised, x times e raised to x itself, minus, as you remember, the integration of e raised to x itself, and finally, we add C, the, the integration constant. Therefore, the integration of this expression, x times e raised to x dx, will be this one. This is this, 